Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is how I made my Halloween wreath this year. I started out with an old pair of my husband's pajama pants. They're buffalo checks, so I didn't want to throw them out, and I just shredded them. I used some fat quarters that I got from Walmart, 97 cents, and just cut that into strips, different lengths. I used an old pair of my daughter's black stretch pants, which had a hole in them, and I used some leftover black fabric. Uh, an old wreath frame that I had, and some burlap ribbon. I didn't want to put any glue on this, so I could just cut it all off. I'll probably reuse this frame for Christmas. And what I did was I just cut the jammy pants into long strips, about two inches wide. They were just all different length strips. And I just put a tie in them. Like when you're first going to tie a bow, and then I left the fabric really loose to kind of make a little like a bubble with the fabric and then I went to another um, part of the frame itself and tied it once again and just left the fabric really loose in between all my ties and just covered as much as I could of that frame with the material I had from the pajama pants. After I used up all those strips, I tied in some of the black fabric, and that I just cut into separate strips, little shorter ones, about 10 inches long, and I just put um, just one tie in them just to leave them hanging loose. Like, like again, the beginnings of a bow and just left them hanging. Just as little fill-ins. And here I brought in the fat quarters, tied that on the same way. I cut some 10 inch strips. Once I tied in these 10 inch strips, I cut strips more closer to 20 inches and then I tied this white fabric in places all around the wreath into little bows because it showed up better against the dark fabric. And I had also decided to take some of that burlap ribbon that you can get at Dollar Tree, and I cut that into about six or seven inch lengths, just that uh, light brown colored one, and I did little ties of that too, just to brighten up the wreath a little bit. It was getting a little too dark and everything, the fabrics were getting lost. And then I went in with some Silver Art Mines paint. It's actually Tin Man and some Mod Podge. I had an old fall sign, so I used the back of it and I sanded it down and I put uh, just one thin coat of the Tin Man paint on it. I tried the, the window clings on it, which I used as my happy um, Halloween for the happy Halloween sign. And the brown looked okay just by itself, but I decided it, it looked a little nicer um, with the Tin Man paint. I was afraid it would be a little too silver, but it ended up turning out nice. And 
Yeah, I tested it here. I wasn't sure, but I thought I'd give it a go. And with one thin coat, it, it looked fine. It looked perfect, actually. So then I used, used my Mod Podge and um, used it to put the window planes on. I love this window clings sheet. I got this at uh, Walmart a couple days before and it was only 98 cents and it had some flies and spiders and things on it. So I just decided to take some small ones off and add those to the sign too. The window cling clings looked really nice. I like the writing and it was just easy. I didn't have to draw it. I didn't have to use and try to paint a nice sign. I, like, I just like the way they looked. Once I got that put into where I wanted it, I just affixed it um, with some little ties on the inside and I had an old chain that I used to hang the wreath and I did this inside my house because it's pouring out. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe.